Hi guys, thank you for clicking on today's video. If this is the first video of mine you've watched, thank you for stopping by, it really means a lot. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, thank you for coming back, it means the world. So, in today's video, I will be working out the total I've spent for December 2021. So, let's get started. I've got my calculator here because my maths is not the greatest. Trying to find room for everything and put that back over here. Right. For the first week, which was the first through the fifth, I had no bills coming out. Moving on to cash, I spent, let's put this over the top of here. There we go. Put that there for now. I spent 16. 75 and I spent 22.53 so I spent 39.28 in cash on my card I spent six pounds over here and that was to open new savings accounts so you have to transfer like a pound um so I've done that but since then I've actually closed those accounts um so the six pound has gone back in by the end of the month but that's fine. We're still going to count it as a spend. And we spent £2.10 here on a very expensive bottle of water. So that was £8.10. And then on my credit card, which is purple, we spent £6.50, £4.84, 12 44.48. 26 57 so that was 94 pounds and 39 pence so let's work out the total i've spent for the first week so that's 94 39 plus 8 pounds and 10 pence plus 39 pounds and 28 pence equals 141 pounds and 77 pence Sorry, I had to cut the video there. There was a knock on my door. So, moving on to the second week. Starting off with bills, we had £18 plus £7.99 pence plus £32.25 and then 0 0.79 pence. And that totals up to £59.03 pence. Moving on to cash then, there was only two um, cash here, so that totals up to £16.89. Card transactions then, I'm not going to count this because that was just me taking money out in cash. So we have £30 here, £4.49 here. And that was it. So it's £34.49. And pence. And then credit card purchases. So there was £49.51 pence here. £49.51 plus £36.90 plus... £4.48 plus £3.45 plus £23.61. I've done something wrong because I've not spent £23,000. <laughs> Let me see. £49.51 plus £36.90. Plus four pound forty eight plus three pound forty five twenty three sixty one eleven. There we go, that makes more sense. One one seven point ninety five. So going into the new year, I have purchased stickers for um, my different categories. So 
it'll be a bit easier to decipher and it'll look a bit nicer as well. So let's work out the total spent for the second week. So that is the credit card plus 34.49 plus 16.89 plus 59.03. So that is 228.36. Week three. We have £5.99 plus £1.73. That is, oh, and £100. So £107.72. Then we have any cash transactions. So we have £4.65. 1135 £24.03 £40.03 Card Again, I'm not going to count that um, because that was me pulling money out for my sinking funds and my cash envelopes So there were no other card transactions Then credit card so it was three pounds forty five, five, twenty three pounds forty eight, eight pound forty eight, twenty nine eighty eight, two pounds seventy two, seventy three, oh one. So we're going to total them up. That was two hundred and twenty pounds and seventy six pence, and then plus a six hundred pound credit card payoff. Okay. Moving on to the fourth week. So we have an additional category here, which is business expenses. So I'm just going to squeeze it down the bottom here. Business expenses or business expenditure. So we will do bills first. There was no bills. Cash spending. So that was £44.76. Card payments, we had a few of them. So £4.49 plus 75 plus 0.89 plus £4.49. And that is £84.87. And then credit card then, we had £54.64. Twelve pounds and sixty seven pence, thirty two pounds and seventy six, one hundred and seven pence. Well, that was good, wasn't it? And then the business expenses was here, which was four pounds eighty six. Work out the total. £234.56. Then for the last five days then, bills, we had £9.99 and £61.30. So that's £71.29. We had no cash spending. We had a bit of card spending. So that was five pounds twenty four plus forty four fifty nine six pound and thirty eight six pound fifty two 
19 pounds which has been put back in so i'm not going to count that i put 20 in so i will be up a pound but that's fine i don't keep a, an exact track of what my buffer is so i'm going to count the 30 instead and not instead like that's what i'm counting so was that no that was card so 92 pound 73 then my credit card then oh turned it off 106.15 plus well, that's been paid off as well so we're not going to count that so we're only going to count the 106.15 so 71 29 92.73 106.15 two oh no two seven oh seventeen um so when i do spend money on my credit card and that money goes back in to replace it i don't mark down the replacement of it i just tick it off um so to me i just count that as as a nil even though it is a spending i might change how i do it but i've only just started doing this so that's what it's going to be so Let's work out the total spending for December. This looks a lot more than I've spent in any previous month. But that's okay. So 141.77 plus 228.36 plus 220.76 plus 600 plus two three four point fifty six plus two seven zero point seventeen one thousand sixty nine fifty sixty nine fifty no six hundred and ninety five point sixty two so i've just grabbed my october and my November spending. So in October, I spent a total of £1,503.87. In November, we spent less at £1,437.08. But then in December, we have spent £1,695.62, which wasn't a massive increase um, from the previous months. But... If I can get it in frame. There we go. Um, but it was an increase, but it wasn't a major increase. Um, and, and I'm happy with with what I spent. So thank you so much for watching my video today. If you did like the video, please consider hitting the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see any of my future videos and keep up to date with my budget, then please consider subscribing. It would mean the world. Thanks for watching. Bye.